I've opted in this piece to play the repeat, which are eight bars long. It sounds very, very short without the repeats, and um, as you might be aware, they say in the grade performances that you can repeat up to a few bars, but any more than a few bars you should not repeat, and there's no specific number for a few bars. So you get away with repeating or not in this piece. I think it's nicer to repeat, um, but for the grade you could repeat or not. I have opted in this piece to let the second quaver of each bar ring on as a kind of melody note. So So I, I take the, 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 the last of the two um, start notes of each bar and I let that ring on until the third beat of the bar. I also uh, block the the thumb, the, these, all these open D's and G's on the second beat of each bar. I block them off on the third beat, I don't let them ring on. I, I feel like it's a bit cleaner um, to block off the thumb notes on the third beat of the bar like this. Block, 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 block. Um, yeah, I, I like the sound of it ringing on. I think it sounds nice. You don't have to. Um, it just it feels harder to to not <laughs> um, to not have the ringing on and doesn't sound as good to me. Um, in bar nine, I would opt for M A I. Um, not true. Probably would go M A I. Um, I think that's what I, what I did in the in the performance. Reflection I M and P works really well there as well. Um, maybe stick with I and P just because you keep the thumb on these bass notes um, on the G in this case. Yeah, it's, it's relatively simple and straightforward, this piece. Uh, do observe the rests at the end of uh, line one, two, and four. And if you do the repeats, aim for some sort of dynamic variation, some change. Um, you should never really play the same section as a repeat in exactly the same way. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.